on Defiant Ones, there's a scene, I think it was Defiant Ones, there's a scene where M is uh, trying to recite, I think it's mind blowing. Was it mind blowing? I think it's what it is. He was trying to he was trying to recite uh, one of your verses, and uh, yeah, it was mind blowing. I think it was mind blowing. And he said, "Oh, I need Doc for a second. And so he calls you over while they're shooting in the documentary, and he's asking you to explain, you know, uh, this part of his rhyme, his lyrics that he kept messing up over over time. What does it feel like? having so many iconoclasts at this point now, right? You got Snoop, you got M, you've got an uh, entire history of hip hop that reveres you for the work that you put in. What is a moment like that where Eminem is breaking that down? How does that impact you? How did it impact you then, but how does it impact you now when you think about the things you have to do going forward from here? I gotta ask him what he said on this part. On this one part, I never understood it. Like I couldn't make out exactly what it was. The doc is dope. I would have been down with rock, but I'll be broke by the punk. I'm opening up my trunk to reveal that. Live it up, my life is like a story. Yelling it, cause nobody else is telling it. Checking it, always getting paid, cause the rap is sort of a twist. Between what you needed and what I mean, what I mean by twist, nah, you gotta listen. That, what the fuck, what was that right there? Never a segment is negative, because I'm employing what you've been missing. Never, Never a segment is negative. How the I'm fuck did you say you. that shit, God damn. She <laughs> just came out. Well, I, I knew at the moment of shooting, we were making gold. I knew that. I could feel it, you know. Again, to his credit, M is such a genuine human being, right? And a genuine fan of this art form that we all love. It's not his fault. He's great. You know what I mean? Doesn't matter what color you are. Right? It's not his fault. He has that gift to be able to take those cadences, some of mine I hear in there too, uh, and just work them that way, right? That's his gift. His subject matter allowed him to reach into areas that the, that the average copper colored artist could not. Um, just by virtue of it, uh, wh who he is and where he came from. But that doesn't take away from the skill set. You still got to write the rap. You know what I mean? You still got to make the, make the song. And he had Dre, which is another cheat code. You know, uh, those two guys together. And Dre, Dre plus anybody, really, is you 75% over and done just by virtue of this guy's sitting behind this SSL for you, you know. It was a moment in time that'll live forever, bro. I know that right now. I know when I'm dead 50 years, people are gonna be watching that going, that's pretty cool, you know. That's what it felt like in the moment. And it, I know you allowed, it allowed Eminem to give love to his guy, because I've always been that to him. He always says stuff like, I get nervous around you. And I'm thinking to myself, motherfucker, you know what I mean? Like, do you know who you are? And I'm, now I'm nervous, now I'm sweating, because you didn't say that, you know? Uh, but it's just a mutual love and respect of two men who really love the art, because it did for me everything that it did for him. You know, and we both realize and recognize that, you know. And uh, like I said, it's a moment in time that's going to live forever. And I'm grateful for that moment.